Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jen and I'm outside in this video because it was sunny out and I thought hey what the hell we'll film outside. So I set the tripod up and then film outside. <laughs> you can see my gray hair. Um, <laughs> but I was going to do a digital like painting. I was going to work on the painting I started a while ago of our dog but my hand's gone all the crap and it's you can kind of tell that my wrist is a little swollen but don't know why. I've either dislocated something and then it's come back in, which has happened before, so nothing new there. Or I've got a repetitive strain on drawing too much. I don't really know. Or the carpal tunnel has just decided, hey, I'll flare your ugly head up. So holding a pen or a digital pen and a pencil for a long time, not going to happen. So I thought, we'll use a watercolor thing because, watercolor thing, a watercolor brush and watercolors because they're light, they're easy, and maybe it won't. If I, because I can't hold them very hard or like with a death grip maybe it's it'll be a lighter watercolor I don't really know but yeah that's hubby's leg he used to in the distance he's taking the dog to up to the hill because I can't but hey so yeah this is supposed to be a bunch of hydrangeas and it kind of looked like that at the beginning and then near the end it starts to look like a an allium I think that's how you say it, but that's okay. Or I don't know what it looks like in the end. It looks like a bunch of colorful something, kind of like a cross between a hydrangea. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> and a hydrangea and an allium. No, bye-bye dog. Bye-bye hubby. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, but it actually it looks okay. But these are just student grade what Cotman watercolors, whatever they are. And I'm just pretty much using a bunch of blues and purples and a bit of like a purple red and I don't know what the exact colors are because they're still in the, th the tray and I haven't popped them out to see if it's labeled like that. Some of them are so some of them are not. It's rubbed off because I've had this for quite a while. But I thought, you know what, with this I'm just gonna try to be loose and quick and like I used to do in college and see if that works the best for me in watercolors and it kind of does. I mean, there's no outline, which normally I would put an outline on it, but I gotta stop doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> you see the wind's kind of blowing in the background, but that's okay. I had to twist this 90 degrees so it kind of looked normal, sort of. In a minute! <laughs> he wants me to get the dog water. So, yeah. I'll be back to do that. And I'm back. The dog has water now. <laughs> See, it kind of looks like hydrangeas here, so I maybe should have just stopped here, but I thought it looked a bit too light, but that's my problem. I keep trying to go really dark, and you know, hey, this is practice, so I keep need to keep remembering, don't go dark, you don't need to go dark, you really don't need to go dark. And that's my problem, so I'm just trying to add little petal shapes to this, to kind of make it look like a bunch of petals because they grow like in bunches on the, the plant which is in the corner but you can't see it's off screen ours is in a pot because if you stick them in the ground they get huge and grow everywhere <laughs> which so if you want to take up s some space yeah okay but we don't have a huge garden and you know we got rid of all the grass in the ground anyway because it just it's like moss in this area so yeah so it's all paved and stuff easy low maintenance <laughs> in theory <laughs> but this is just blue I think it's probably ultramarine blue if I'm thinking I really like the color but it kind of gets lost in the end but that's okay like I said maybe should have well, stopped beforehand you know at this stage I'm like this is kind of a mess hmm I need to darken it up because you can't see there's no light source really here it looks a bit flat like a bunch of purple and blue worms <laughs> That's what it looks like, kind of a ball of purple and blue worms or rubber bands, I guess, if you don't want to think of squiggling worms. But, you know, that's a beeping you might hear. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's something to do with the barbecue, but I don't really know. It probably is. Or it's his phone. Anyway, back to the art. I can't, like I said, I can't edit this, but I just can't be bothered. You know, and I'm adding a bit of green, because I, I should have actually put that in first, but it works out in the end at least. And this is just a bunch of various dark greens. And it's not very wet. The brush is quite dry. 
because I wanted to get a more textured look to some of it, which did work once I started adding more greens to it. And that bee bee is getting freaking annoying. Bees if it can't get at it, so you know it'll, it'll have to keep going on until it either dies or you might not even hear it. But you might. But if you do, I apologize because <laughs> it's freaking annoying. I could close the door, but that means I have to get up, and I'm my knees kind of buggered, so. The less I move on it, the better. Actually, maybe we'll close the door because there we go. It doesn't matter because it's outside, so you'd still hear you still hear it because the window's open. But that's okay. <laughs> it's louder now that I closed the door. <laughs> that's funny. But so I'm adding a bit of more purple, this is the purple red kind of color to it to kind of give it a bit more shading to the side. I think in total. This took me, I know how long, it took about 34 minutes, give or take a couple seconds really is what it took, so not too long. And I mean, I could have left it as that video, but that's a long video and what am I gonna, hell am I gonna talk about for 34 minutes and a couple seconds? I ramble enough, but I don't think I could ramble for 34 freaking minutes. So I decided to speed this up, uh, what, like a, by a third, is it, roughly? I think, <laughs> yeah it is, because honestly, 34 minutes of me talking is enough to drive anybody you know bonkers but but yeah so like I said this is just, I'm just kind of trying to layering a bunch of blues and purples to give it a bit more shape because without that it really like I said it looks like a blue and purple blob hey this the beeping stopped <laughs> that's okay and uh, so yeah the wind's blowing you kind of see that with well, a pot on the lower right looking at the screen that's an anemone an 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 I don't know it's a pretty flower the one on the top is a hosta yeah I think that's a hosta we've got a couple of them in pots too because they're another plant that gets big if you just put them in the ground but like I said we don't have a ground really because it's just moss originally I mean you get sunlight and stuff but the ground is crap <laughs> we're not here to talk about the ground in Kiri <laughs> talking about at least where we are we're talking about the painting, which it kind of, I could have, should have left it at this, because I actually quite like this, but I didn't, and I'm just adding more green, dry, green, dry, so the brush is quite dry, it really is quite dry at this point, so I'm wiping it on a towel on my lap, because I wanted it quite dry, and it's just trying to create different variations of green, like I said, and just different textures and stuff, and now I'm going back in with like really dark blues and trying to build it up a bit and trying to at least give it a bit of shape so it looks more like something anything that's got a bit of shape to it <laughs> sort of but it kind of does have a bit of shape in the end so it's not too bad I guess it kind of works maybe but like I said this is just practice and this is me rambling about the practice you know, just rambling, and I'm adding a bit of darker too underneath the bigger bunch of petals, was supposed to be petals, just cause so it looks so like it's not just floating in the air. <laughs> but, like I, said, I think the practice is helping. I think I'm crossing my fingers that maybe it is, or that I'm going back to what I used to kind of did, but going past that obviously would be better. That's the paper you're hearing, if you heard it. And, but... <sighs> You know, it is taking a lot of practice. Like I said, it's been four or five years since I've used watercolor, really. It's like, seriously tried to use watercolor. But, I mean, I've got watercolor pencils, which I could use probably if I wanted to be a bit more precise, I guess. Maybe I'll do that once I finish with a bunch of digital stuff that I need to do. Maybe I'll do that for the next couple of videos, maybe. I don't really know. Or I'll just keep doing this and people can laugh at my failed attempts at watercolors. Because now that I look at this, it looks like a paw from some feline or something that's missing a toe. But <laughs> that's okay. A purple feline paw. Or, yeah, it could be a feline, I guess. But I could have left it at this stage. I'm looking at the screen and I'm like, oh. But I start making it a bit darker. And I think I added a bit of green to this to kind of make it look a little bit better but and then I do eventually add a bunch I think it's Payne's gray because it's not black yeah that's Payne's gray so it's just pure Payne's gray with no other color in it whatsoever just to kind of try to give it a bit of shading which does work it's maybe a bit too stark but and then I mix it with a bit of green just to kind of have a bit of you know 
Oh god, what's the word I'm looking for? Is there a bit of... It's not symmetry. Uh, oh, yeah, Jen, use your, you know, degree to well... To well. <laughs> Can't seem to talk. You know, but... A bit of, oh, uh, whatever, I can't remember what I'm trying to say, but it's just the kind of match we'll say, that's a bit better. You know, I'm having cog fog moments at the moment, you know, at the moment. Um, which is qu unfortunately quite common with people with MS, you're like, what the hell was I thinking of? And, you, and you're like, no, I can't think of it, it's not happening. Or you find a word that's kind of related to it, but not. So you're, you know, it's like that scene in The Simpsons where he's like, you know, spoon the, the food thingy, and they're like a spoon, you know. But that's what is that earlier Simpsons? I think that's earlier Simpsons. Very well, could be early. anyway. We're not talking about the Simpsons, we're talking about my practice at watercolor, which, like I said, looks kind of like a cat's paw, I guess, a purple fuzzy cat's paw with missing a toe, sort of. But it looks okay, I guess. It's kind of abstract, it's not. That's not really maybe what I was going for, but that's what happened, and sometimes that's hap what happens with abstract stuff. It just kind of goes in that direction, which when I was looking at older watercolor stuff from, like, college, a lot of it was very loose and very abstract. And it wasn't necessarily flowers. It wasn't really anything. But, hey, you know, I'll just keep practicing and hopefully get better, and then you are not, and you can all laugh at my very poor attempts at trying to learn watercolor. <laughs>